your shift, you may have to refuel, recharge, or change a battery. This should be done only in a designated area and only by individuals who have been trained in proper safe procedures. No one should ever smoke in this area. Before you refuel or recharge an electric, gasoline, or diesel-powered forklift, first, turn off the forklift. Second, put on the proper personal protective equipment. This may include eye protection, gloves, and an apron. Third, note where the eye wash station is and the shower or other emergency equipment such as spill cleanup supplies. If you're changing the battery on an electric forklift, position the forklift in the changing area and set the brake. Make sure the battery is securely attached to the hoist before lifting it. Stand clear as the battery is moved in and out of position. When you charge a battery, make sure the ventilation system is working properly. If the battery is being charged on the forklift, uncover the battery compartment to prevent heat or hydrogen gas buildup. The battery charger must be turned off before connecting it to the battery. Make sure metal objects don't contact the battery terminals. If you're diluting concentrated sulfuric acid with water, always add acid to the water, not water to the acid. Otherwise, it could cause a violent reaction or explosion. However, if you need to add water to top off a battery, you can do so safely when the proper precautions are taken, because the acid in a forklift battery is already diluted. When adding fluid to the battery, wear safety goggles. A face shield can also be worn to protect against electrolyte splash or spray.